So in this follow along, we're going to take a closer look at IAM policies. So go to the top and type in IAM. And what we'll do is make our way over here, uh, all the way over to policies. And what I want to do is create a new policy that only has access to uh, um, limited resources. So um, let's say we want to create an Amazon EC2 instance and that EC2 instance has access to a very particular S3 bucket. So what I want you to do is make your way over to S3 and we're going to create ourselves a new bucket. And I'm going to go ahead and create a bucket here. We're going to call this um, policy tutorial. And I'm going to just put a bunch of numbers here. You'll have to randomize it for your use case. And so now that we have our bucket, what we're going to do is go ahead and create a policy. And the policy is going to choose a service. We're going to say S3. And what I want to do is only be able to list out actions. I'm going to expand this so I don't want everything. So we're just going to say list buckets. Okay. And then what we'll do is uh, expand this here. And I want to say for a particular bucket. So we'll go back over here, click into our bucket. And uh, we're going to go ahead and set those permissions by finding that uh, ARN. We're going to paste that. We're going to paste that ARN up there. Sometimes it's a bit tricky. It vanishes on you. And we could set other conditions if we wanted to, but this is pretty simple as it is. And so that's our rule here, right? So we're saying this policy allows us to list this bucket for that, okay? And so what we'll do is go ahead and hit next. We'll hit review and we'll just say my bucket policy. And we'll create that policy. Okay, so there's a few other things I think that I'd like to do with this policy. I'm gonna pull it back up here. So if we want to find it, uh, they used to be able to filter these based on the ones that you created, but um, yeah, they show like the little icon. So these are ones that I've created up here. And so there's my bucket policy. And I feel like I want to update this policy to have a bit of extra information here. So I'm gonna go edit this policy. No, you know what, I think this is fine. So what I wanna do is now create a role. And we're gonna create a new role and I'm gonna call this, um, well, before I do, I need to choose what it's for. So it's gonna be for EC2. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next. We're gonna choose our policy. So my bucket policy, there it is. And I wanna add another one here because I want to be able to use sessions manager because I really don't wanna use an SSH key to uh, check that this works. And so, um, for this, I, I need to use SSM. So I'm going to type in SSM here. And I'm going to just make sure this is the new one. So this policy will soon be deprecated. Use Amazon SSM Managed Core Instance. You should always open these up and read them and see what they do. And so that's the one that's going to allow us to access uh, Simpsons Manager so we can use uh, Sessions Manager, okay? And so I'm going to say my EC2 role for S3. I'm going to go ahead and create ourselves a role. And so now that we have our role, I'm going to go over to EC2. And I'm going to go ahead and launch myself a new instance. We're going to choose Amazon Linux 2. We're going to stick with T2 Micro. I'm going to go over to configuration here. Everything is fine here. Um, I'm fine with all that. Storage is fine. We'll go to security group and I don't want any ports open because I'm not going to be using SSH. We're going to launch this instance. I don't even want to keep here. Okay. And then we're going to go over here. And so what we're waiting for is this instance to launch as that is going. What I want to do is go over to my S3 bucket and I want to place something in this bucket. So I do have some files here. Um, so what I'm going to do Let's create a new folder here. Whoops. Uh, I'm going to go back and I'm just going to create a folder first. Create a folder. Enterprise D. And I'm going to click into this and then I'm going to upload all of my images here. So you'll have to find your own images off the internet. These are just the ones I have. And we'll go ahead and upload those. Give that a moment. Okay, and so we don't have access to read those files. We'll adjust our policy as we go so that we can do that, okay? 
So this instance should be running. Um, it has, doesn't have the two status checks passed, but we should be able to uh, connect to it. So click on connect here. And so we have options like EC2 instance connect, sessions manager, SSH client. I want you to go to sessions manager. It says we weren't able to connect to your instance, common reasons, SSM agent wasn't installed. We absolutely have it installed. The required IAM profile. Oh, right. So we were supposed to attach, <laughs> I forgot to do it. We were supposed to attach an IAM profile, right? So an IAM profile is the role uh, it, it or the it, it holds the role uh, that's going to give the permissions to that instance. And since we didn't add it, we have to go retroactively add it after the fact. And so I'm going to have to modify the IAM role and we're going to choose my EC2 role for S3 and we're going to save that. And actually when that happens, you have to reboot the machine. You only have to do that if you have no role attached, like prior, no profile attached, and they're attaching it for the first time. But after that, you never have to reboot the machine. This is the only case where you'd have to do that. That's why when I launch an EC2 instance, I always at least have the SSM role attached, the managed one that gets sessions manager so that I don't ever have to do a reboot in case I have to update the policy. And so we will give that a moment there. It says initializing, so I'm going to try again to connect to it, okay? And we still don't have that option there. Um, so I'm going to go back to my instances. I'm going to check to see if the role, the role or policy is attached. Or profile, I should say. So I'm just looking for it here. There it is. And so if I click into this into the role, we can see that we have the Amazon SSM managed instance core there. So that's set up and the my bu bu uh, bucket policy. So this has everything that it should be able to do it, no problem. Okay, so I'm gonna try that again. Okay, so now the connect shows up. AWS is finicky like that. You just have to have confidence in knowing what you're doing is correct, okay? We'll go ahead and hit connect. And I didn't have to use SSH keys or anything. And this is a lot uh, more secure way to connect your instances. When it logs us in, it's going to set us as the SSM user, but we want to be the, um, the EC2 user. Okay. That's uh, AWS always makes their, uh, AM, like their Linux versions as the EC2 user. And that's what you're supposed to use, but it's just, you just, that's how you have to get to that. You just have to type that sudo su hyphen EC2 user, okay? Just once. And if you type who am I, that's who you are. If you type exit, you'll go back to that user. So if I type exit, and I type who am I, I'm now this person. So I'm gonna go back, hit up, go back in there, type clear. So now I wanna see if I have access to uh, S3. So I have to do AWS S3 LS. I wanna see if I can list buckets. It says access denied. So, I mean, that kind of makes sense because if you have list buckets and we're just saying only that bucket, that might not make a whole lot of sense. So I'm going to go back to my policy. I might have just written a, a crummy policy, but we'll say I am here. If we have that one open, we should just go here and click on this policy here. I'm going to edit that policy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change it and we're going to say all resources, review the policy, save changes. And we'll see how fast that propagates. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure I don't have to do anything here. It should just now give me full access to S3. It's going to keep on hitting up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take like a three, four minute break, going to get a drink. I'm going to come back here and see if this propagates. I'm pretty sure I don't have to do anything for that to propagate. And I think that I've attached everything correctly here. Okay. Okay. So I haven't had much luck here. It's still having the same issue. So if that is happening, what I'm going to do um, is I'm just going to reboot it because maybe I didn't give it the, a good opportunity to reboot there. Again, I don't think we should have to reboot it every time when we're, we're changing um, uh, things there, but we will give it another go here and see if that fixes that problem there. So no sessions manager is going to time out here, which is totally fine. It's going to kill that session there. Um, and so what we'll have to do is close this out because there's not much we can do with that. And we're going to go ahead and go back to connect.
And so we're waiting for this button to appear because it is rebooting. So if we want to monitor that stuff, usually there is an option here to monitor where it'll show us the system logs of what it's doing. So here it's just like restarting the machine. I'm not sure if we expect to see something after this. So I can click that there. And uh, yeah, it's so easy to get turned around this. So I can connect to it again now. We'll type in sudo su hyphen ec2 user, AWS S3 LS. And we still have access denied for list buckets. So if that's the case, it could be that um, sometimes you need other permissions when doing list policy, like uh, list buckets. So if that's the case, we're gonna do a sanity check. I'm just gonna say all permissions here, okay? And this way there's no way that I've set this incorrectly. Um, it just has to work now. So type this in. There we go. Okay, so there has to be something more to it. So just because you say list buckets, you know, like, means there must be more to it, right? So if I go here to this, right, and I say, whoops, and I say, uh, list buckets here, we'll say copy, paste, okay. Here it's saying maybe I need get object as well. So I just know from using AWS a long time that that's the case, that it could be more than one thing. So, you know, that was in the back of my mind that that could be happening, and I guess that is. But notice I didn't have to restart my uh, my server, boot my server to get those to work. Um, and, but anyway, let's go lock that down and see if we can just kind of make this uh, more focused. So let's say um, all resources, I'm gonna specify the condition. So I might wanna just say for particular buckets, We'll say specific. So when you checkbox everything, then you have to do this. So for storage accounts, these are fine. Any for objects, that could be something. We will say multi-region access, bucket, any bucket. But what I'm gonna say is I wanna only allow them to access things in a particular bucket. And so if I go to Arn here, um, what is our bucket name? Our bucket name is policy tutorial 3414 whatever, right? And so we can actually give it a wild card or we can say enterprise D. And we learned this in the course that uh, you can provide ORNs with randomized things there. I don't know if I spelt it wrong over here, so I should really double check. I should probably just copy it. Oops, I just don't want to type it wrong. And so this, okay, means that we should only be able to get stuff from there. I'm gonna review the policy, let's see if it takes, save the changes. And if I just view the JSON here, notice it says anything from here, right? So allow S3 anything as long as it's within here. And then it also broke it up into sub ones for here, okay? Um, so anyway, what I want to see is what happens if I upload something into the loose area here. So I'm going to say upload, and I'm going to just say add a file. And we're just going to grab data here and upload it. Go back to our bucket. There's our file. We have that stuff in there. And so if I go back over to my EC2 instance, which I'm still connected to, uh, who am I? Okay, great. Clear. Um, so I'm going to say AWS S3 LS, see if that works still. It does, good. And so what I want to do is see if I can copy a file locally. So I'm going to do AWS S3 copy, I think it was S3, no, it's just S3. Copy policy, uh, S3 forward slash forward slash policy tutorial 34, 141, whoops, 34 tutorial hyphen three four one four one forward slash 
enterprise D data.jpg. I think it's a JPG. Let's go double check. Yeah, it is. Okay. And then I just want to say data.jpg. And it downloaded it, right? So I'm going to remove that one. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see if my policy is working or maybe my permissions aren't exactly what I think they are. And I was able to download it. So it's these policies can get kind of tricky because like this one says allow all actions for these, but then these say all actions. And so that makes it hard because I want get object. So another thing we can do, and if that one doesn't work really well, I'm just going to write one by hand. It's not that scary to write these by hand. You just get used to it. So I'm going to say effect. Um, is it disallow? Or maybe it's deny. Deny action. S3 get object. I believe that's what it is. Resource. And then I'm going to specify exactly the resource I don't want it to allow. So we're going to say arn AWS S3 three colons policy tutorial three four one four one. Uh, and just say data.jpg. Now, if this is not valid, it's going to complain and say, hey, you didn't write this right. And it and it's fine. Okay, so we'll save those changes. And so that should deny access to that, right? Hopefully I got the policy right. Okay, so that one doesn't work, which is fine. And that one's fine. So that worked. We were able to deny that. But you can see there's a little bit of an art to creating these policies. Uh, as you make more of them, it becomes a lot easier. So hopefully it's not too scary, but uh, that's all there really is it, uh, to it that I want to show you today. So what we're going to do is clear out this bucket. We're done with this bucket here. So we'll say delete. Whoops, we got to empty it first. And we'll just say permanently delete here. Okay. And we will exit that out. We're going to go ahead and delete that bucket. Grab its name here. And uh, we'll go back over here. I think I forgot to delete this bucket from earlier. I'm just going to delete that because I don't need that bucket. If that's okay with you. Just going to go ahead and delete that. And we have that EC2 instance running, so we want to stop that. We go ahead and we're going to terminate that. Yes, please. And then we'll go to IAM and do some cleanup. I have some custom roles I've been creating, um, you know, from prior things, a lot of those. Usually there's a way to, uh, we've redesigned it. Okay, where's the redesign? This is the redesign? That can't be it. Because there'll be like roles that AWS makes. I think these are all roles that I've made. Um, I don't want to delete service roles. But I want to get rid of some of these because I just have too many, you know. It's getting out of hand for me. And I'm going to just see if it will let me delete all of these. Let's delete those. There we go. Just clean up a bit. I still have a lot here, but there's like service roles that uh, AWS creates once and you really don't want to delete those because you don't. <laughs> Um, and then I have a bunch of these, like I'm never going to use these, so I might as well detach them, delete, detach. You really don't want to keep like roles that you're never going to use around. Things like that, like gauze, we're going to be using that again. Delete. There's that bucket we just created. Anyway, you get the idea. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's I am okay.